hi and welcome back so before i move on to forms let's see what's remaining under this list so we've looked at adding contacts search contacts import contacts and we've also touched on this briefly but let me just click on it so that we can see what's here when we did an import of contacts into get response you saw that you could just select from a drop down and there were available fields so for example we had name first name last name there was also url and a bunch of others so if you want to create anything that you want to be available under that list you can add it here for example i did say something about title so i can add title and then the type what is it it can be any of this so let's say title is just a text a single line a format it can be checkbox let's come here we want we want it to be a text a single line and then custom field value the value just call it title so if you want to add anything into that list you can add it here you'll just click save so if you have any other fields that you want to add you can add it here so that needs to be a small letter so let me make this cups then you can save the custom field and if you save it it will be visible for you the next time you are importing any contacts into your get response account so these are all the custom fields that are available and you see if you want to create a new one it would be possible just come here and click create new and where is the one that we've created this is the one that we've created so if you don't want it you can just delete it or edit it in this case i'll just delete it because i don't need it so i'll just get rid of it okay that's custom fields let's see what we have here we also have this so if you click on custom fields it will bring you to this page so that you can choose whether you want to edit them delete them add for the ones that you can add some of these are created by get response and you will not be able to edit them so let's go to suppression list and we see what this is you can add some contacts to your suppression list so a suppression list is a list that probably the unsubscribers unsubscribed themselves using a form or they unsubscribed themselves from a link in your email and their status is changed to unsubscribed on your account or maybe they mark one of your emails as spam or if you send an email to the subscriber and it, and it results in a hard bounce a hard bounce a hard bounce is is a permanent bounce whereby the email will not go so in that case you can add some list to your suppression list some contacts so that they don't receive the newsletters that you're sending so you can import from a file if you have a list of them you can import them from a file or maybe you can add them manually or if there's a whole bunch of domains that you don't want to receive your newsletter you can add that and all these emails will not receive and any emails with this domain will not receive your newsletter an example is in uh, mailchimp maybe somebody some people unsubscribed and you did not remove them from the official list and then you import that list into get response and you also have another list of people who had unsubscribed so what you want to do is you'd bring that list import it and then once you import that list and you save it it will automatically remove those people from your list so that they don't have to receive your email again and then you can also look at your list hygiene and see how your list is this will give you the option to remove any email addresses that you don't want to receive your newsletters so this will unsubscribe them you can even blacklist them so that they never ever have to 
subscribe to your list again so that's your list hygiene you can maintain it if there are people who maybe you know they subscribed but they are just spammers you can bring their email addresses here or you can add a domain maybe there's a domain that you know is a culprit of this you'll just add all the emails here or the domains here so if you want to add a full domain you can just add like that and all emails originating from this domain will be unsubscribed or if you want to blacklist them you can blacklist them so this list hygiene gives you the option to add to your suppression list as well as to blacklist so you can do all that in one place right here and if you want to do it to multiple campaigns you'll just come here and select them and add to blacklist or if you're unsubscribing them unsubscribe them so that's it for this part on contacts in the next part we're going to start looking at forms how you can create forms add them to your website so that you can use them to collect contacts you can collect new subscribers on your website so i will see you in that new section if you have any questions make sure you let me know until next time